I'd like to add two more servers from five until close. Is that okay with you? I can't believe my mom's actually letting me hang out with you this weekend. How'd you make that happen? I just asked. Really? Because that hasn't exactly worked before. Well, uh, your mom just wants what's best for you. I get that. But lately, what's best for me is staying away from you and taking my phone. Not going on a speedboat trip to the Toronto Island. Can we camp out overnight? You know what? I promised your mom that I'd have you home by 10. But we'll do that. We'll make it happen soon. Okay? Good morning, hey. boys. So, I hear your dad's taking you out on a boat. Yeah, I can't wait. It's gonna be fun. I have the kitchen whipping up a couple sandwiches for you guys to take, okay? Thank you. Mr. Morgan, a word. Well, that's gonna have to wait. I have plans with my son today. Not anymore. Send the boy home. Agent Cates, Jason has spent enough time away from his family. Now, he wants to spend the day with his son, and you're gonna let him. With all due respect, Carly. <laughs> Do me a favor and drive Danny home while I talk with this agent. Are you sure? Hey, I'll call you, okay? We'll reschedule, I promise you. Let's go. Any idea what that's about? Look, we both know your dad can take care of himself. What was so important that you had to pull me away from my son? We raided Valentine Cassadine's house yesterday. There was no trace of him. My job was to find out who was running Pikeman and get you the evidence to charge them. I did that. Finding and, and arresting Valentine, that's on you. You were stalling yesterday. I was waiting for you to finish talking. You and I were talking for half an hour before you brought up the sat phone. By the time we got to his house, Cassadine had vanished. That only happens if he's been tipped off. And you think I did that? Well, if it wasn't you, who was it? You know, I, I don't really... Are you helping John Cates go after Sonny? From what I understand, he's more likely to confide in you than me. What is that supposed to mean? Well, aren't the two of you friends, or at least friendly? We are not friends, okay? And I regret any bit of kindness I ever showed Agent Cates. Now, is he going after Sonny with your help or on his own? Carly, you of all people know that I can't divulge any information about an ongoing investigation. Okay. Or even acknowledge that there is one. Thanks for nothing. Okay, what? Well, God, just tell me what this is about, why don't you? Kate's came for Jason this morning. Why would I warn Valentine? Maybe this isn't about Cassadine. Maybe you sabotaged my case just to stick it to me. And risk prolonging our deal? There's no way. I've given you more than two years of my life. I'm done. Well, that might be true if we could find Valentine, but we can't, and until we do, I have nothing to show for my assignment, which means your days as my informant are far from over. What does that mean? That means I am putting you on a bus, and you are going to Quantico, and once you are there, you will receive a new identification as a federal prisoner, and then you will be transferred to the penitentiary at Lompoc. And once you're there, you will establish yourself, and then you will be inserted into a drug and arms dealing outfit that we believe is headquartered there. You leave tonight. <laughs>